I think identity is a set of beliefs, mm -hmm. that we have certain beliefs about who we are as an individual, as a group. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, beliefs have been used to put us mm -hmm. one against the other yeah. instead of unite us. And how can you, okay, preserve these different categories based on gender, on race, on nationality, etc. But at the same time, mm -hmm. not losing this deeper um, understanding that we are more than these categories, mm -hmm. that there is a more common identity, yeah. humanity. Yeah. And uh, I'm tempted to say that it almost feels like as if it's an evolution, that you first start to get a sense of belonging where you belong, right? And yeah one of the theories, the social identity theory talks about it, that we only get to know our identity with respect to the other. Mm -hmm. and, and so a sense of your quest to belong is also attained by your desire to separate yourself from the other. That's how you can really come to know who you are and identify. But at the same time, as we go deeper into this spiritual realm, we start to go beyond that and then we start talking about, okay, at the end of the day, it's the soul and that is me still in some way. So, you know, while I am conscious of the fact that I'm putting a hierarchy to it, but it feels like it's an evolution, right? That you first know yourself and then you move ahead. Even you take the idea of feminism, right, and the way it's been misconstrued and misrepresented as, you know, a construct and a philosophy that seeks to tear down men to the betterment of women. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, those those ideas, those misconceptions, because they, they leverage fear um, and a lot of very sort of human instinctive reactions, they're, they're quite effective and they can be very hard to undo. Often my impulse is to say like, no, you don't, you don't understand feminism, you don't understand like the experience of women in the world, you know, because you're a man. Um, but figuring out how to generate productive conversation, how we engage men, and I think we're making such progress there, right? You see programming that really generates effective dialogue where people are brought to the table and the conversation isn't about what you're doing wrong or what's shameful about your behavior, but it's really about power and community and you know love and, and what that means and what that looks like and I think gender equality is something that certainly falls under that umbrella of this isn't just about one issue it encapsulates so many things and it affects literally every person in the world um, and and so I try to remind myself of that on the days where I get really frustrated trying to go to the hill and feeling like I'm not being heard. Um, and if you can just boil it down to, you know, we are all people and we're all working for the collective good. And I think that's why so many politicians come here to begin with. They come with the desire to make a difference and impact change in a positive way. Um, and so we do just need to find the points of commonality where those conversations can begin to happen. If individual potential is permitted to, to rise to its true level, then regardless of gender or race or nationality, the individual will have a role to play in this multifaceted, very diverse you know, body that is uh, the human race as a whole. I like this expression of uniformity. Mm -hmm. We are not striving for uniformity. Mm -hmm. We know that there will be always variety and, and different uh, level of responsibilities mm -hmm. and there are some, some form of hierarchies. Mm -hmm. The thing is if everybody has the, the same opportunities and, and, and is given the, the, the conditions to develop the potentialities to aspire for any of this level of, uh, of uh, power, position of power and, and hierarchies, and if everybody has the, the capacity to meet their own their needs, people think that you have to win, you have to earn your, your mm -hmm. to, in order to to fulfill your needs and, and, and yeah, so it's 
it's a, it's a challenge, it's a content challenge so, mm. to change our mindset.